Well, first of all, we've got fantastic conditions. Uh, we're going to continue to have some snow over the rest of the rest of the week and through the weekend, so the skiing will be fantastic. But we've got the um, Canadian Ski Patrol has their Ski Patrol Day, and on Saturday at one o'clock, we're going to be part of a number of different hills across the country, trying to break a, a Guinness World Book of Records for snow angels. How did you? Well, what did, what uh, what brought the idea on to, to get involved with this uh, world record snow angel? What's the purpose? Well, the CSP, the Canadian Ski Patrol, are, are kind of what we consider to be our, our angels on the hill, pulling people off and packaging them up and bringing them off, making them safe. And so the snow angels kind of fit in well with them, and they actually came up with the idea. And, you know, everybody loves snow angels. It, it doesn't matter who you are, big, old, young, tall, whatever. People have fun making snow angels. Uh, we tried it last year, or there was an attempt last year, rather, and uh, they just fell a little bit shy. The, the amazing part, though, is, is when you watch the people go out there, you really think they wouldn't have much fun with it, and they do. It's just plain, simple fun. It's almost kind of like paying homage to to the snow angels, the ski patrol, and, and kind of a thank you here for all that you do here on the ski hill to make us safe, huh? Absolutely. It's very fitting that it's no angels with the, with the CSP for sure. So let's talk about, I mean, the, you know, this is one of many. I mean, you had an event uh, just recently with the Slope Style event as well. What is it um, that, I guess, that you want to portray out there in the public about Hidden Valley and the ski area um, in, in terms of having people come out? What do you say to them? We want to make the ski hill as fun as possible. We want people to have as many reasons to come out and play as possible. And uh, so putting on events for them to participate in, to watch. We try and do a whole bunch of events to make sure that they, they, they want to come out here and play as, as, as often as they can. And are we seeing, I mean, we have the luxury in Muskoka, I mean, of having having this here and even having students, as we can see today, um, coming out to take part, a part in these activities. I, are you seeing like a rise in popularity, uh, popularity of this sport? It's you know what it's it's all it's it's holding its own. Let's put it that way. It's a tough one. There's so many different activities. There's also financial challenges with people all across, and even even just finding time to do things. I think what we're doing though is, is presenting uh, events and and activities so that people are having fun. And I think this is definitely becoming a good year, especially after last year being so tough. This has been a great year. We've got good conditions, so people are coming out, and we're seeing an increase this year. And, and now, while I have you here, I might as well take advantage. Uh, is there anything uh, that you want to talk about that's coming up next uh, after um, this weekend uh, with the uh, with the ski hill? Well, we're getting ready for family day. We know it's always a busy one. We hope the temperatures are going to hold in there. Uh, it seems like that's about the busiest weekend out of the, the whole entire year for us. So we're, that's our, our big plans right now is, is, is we're, we're making some deals with Mother Nature to have some good temperatures for Family Day weekend. <laughs> Praying, Mother Nature. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>